I honestly see this as like a bit of a red flag. The lack of sauce on here. I am fuming. I just don't understand why you're getting eggs and bread. Like, just make an egg at home. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm absolutely not going to win. I know that for a fact. The fact that I won the Maccas video with Just Hash Browns was an absolute fluke. And I know it's never going to happen again, but I need to stay true to who I am. So I'm not just going to do something to win. This is pure chaos. Hello, mates. Today, we are going to be trying each other's Hungry Jack's breakfast orders. Yum! We're going to try each other's orders, rate them out of 10. Whoever gets the highest score wins. And they are crowned ruler of breakfast. So Hungry Jack's is probably the fast food chain that I would visit the most. It's just got a special little place in my heart. It's the quintessential road trip breakfast go-to order. You get like a big meal and it really fills you up. And I've recently discovered that Hungry Jack's has the best hash browns. I ate one and my taste buds sank. I am the hash brown expert. I should be on panels. I'm a busy gal and I need something quick. That's the vibe, you know? We're busy, busy people. So my order is a Jack's Brecky roll. It's got everything you need in a breakfast scenario, plus two hash browns on the side because one just isn't enough. It's like everything you could want in a fast food breakfast order. Two, whoever ordered this clearly loves their hash browns. Is Zeta in this video? People are just adding hash browns to their order to try and win. Like this essentially is cheating. Whoa, whoa. There's so much in here. I'm excited to try this because I've never tried this. I'm seeing sausage, a sausage patty, egg and bacon and a lot of cheese. Controversially, I don't like cheese in rolls. It does have barbecue sauce though, first, and that's cool. Bon appetit. Hitting all the spots. There's a lot to chew. I love the roll. It's like buttery and sweet. Don't love that it's in a roll though. That's my only critique. Too much going on for breakfast. I feel like I'm eating a burger and that to me feels more like a dinner thing because there's two types of meat in here and there's cheese and then there's an extra an extra protein hit of egg. Oh, I forget how good hash browns are. I don't know if I should eat these together. Why not? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sorry, Maccas, but they're just better. They just are. Delightful. They're very crisp on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. Adding a hash brown in adds so much. So much texture. The only thing that I would say about this meal which I'm gonna get absolutely crucified for, but like, whatever, it would need a drink. I know mine doesn't have a drink, blah, 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 but whatever, but this could. But overall, it's a pretty solid meal, so I'm gonna go a 7.5. If it was a morning where I was hungry, then I would have this. I would rate this an eight out of 10. I don't know, the burger really lets it down for me. So this for me is a straight down the middle average five. My order is the brekkie wrap. It has bacon, lettuce, avocado, tomato, oh, all the good things. And also, I have got tea. Yes, calm down, it's, it's okay. Tea is a good, like, mouth cleanser. And also, I don't drink coffee. It's a representation for the tea drinkers out there. Okay, so we've got a brekkie wrap and a tea, which I don't know who's drinking tea instead of coffee in the morning. A tea? <laughs> Controversial choice. It's those non-coffee drinkers. I don't trust those people. Why are we going out and ordering tea? You could literally just buy a box of tea bags and fucking make your own tea. Like this, oh, that makes me so angry. If you are running on energy without caffeine, honestly, I'm actually jealous of you and I want some of what you're having, which is tea. So maybe this is exactly what I need. Let's see. That is a good tea. Oh my God, I'm so mad. A Dilma tea, so you know that this is the good shit. I would prefer coffee, but I'm not mad at this. So this is kind of like a lunch wrap, but they've just added egg and bacon. That's like a BLT with egg. I'm gonna do a Bill Shorten. No one roast me. Mmm, mm-hmm. I just don't know what to think about this. It's giving egg. Like that's all I'm getting. Oh, I have so many thoughts. You know what? I'm actually just gonna chuck a Lizzo burrito and eat it like this. Chaotic, I know. Don't worry. Individually, all of these things, delicious. Tea, delicious. 
the different parts of the wrap, egg delicious, bacon delicious, avo delicious, the sauce, there's so much sauce and we know I love sauce. But all together, first of all, the wrap for breakfast, I think no for me. This is more like a lunch sitch. A lot of lettuce, which you know, it, right now there's a lettuce shortage crisis. So I'm eating like gold. I'm eating solid gold at the moment. I really don't like avocado like in sandwiches or wraps or burgers. I actually despise it. Like the temperature makes it taste completely different. Oh, and there's tomato. This is what happens when you unfurl the wrap the wrong way. Okay. But everything is not together. So there's, the bite is not cohesive. It's an extremely chaotic wrap. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. The potential was not fully reached. I just don't even know what to do with this. Cause it's not a bad order. I just don't think I would order it for breakfast. You know, just don't order a tea, get a coffee. Why are we ordering tea? Even though the wrap is delicious, I'm gonna have to give this a six. I'm sorry. It's just so far beyond what I would order. I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10. So my order is a bacon and egg muffin, hold the bacon, and a soy cappuccino because you can't start breakfast without coffee. Egg and bacon muffin without the bacon. Okay, sorry, did someone just say without bacon? What is with these weird orders today? If you're gonna take something out of a meal, add something else in there. Add Avocado, add lettuce, I don't know, add anything else that's on the menu. And there is no sauce in here. Are you trying to kill me? Are you actually trying to kill me? Who has it out for me in this video? Me being like, it's all about me. I'm scared. I don't want to be hyperactive. Soy milk, love that. Yes, 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 yes. Large cappuccino, this is my coffee order except with oat milk. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's bloody delicious. Coffee kind of sucks. It's bitter. I don't know why people like it. I honestly see this as like a bit of a red flag that there's no hash browns and there's no bacon. You never know, maybe my mind will be blown. I doubt it, but let's try it anyway. It's good, but it has potential to be amazing, you know? Literally soak it in barbecue sauce. Honestly, I need to have a word to this person because their choices are questionable. But the coffee is the only thing that is giving it points. I'm also giving this one a 6.5. I just, it's equally as bad as the previous one. <laughs> Sorry, Hungry Jacks just has so much more to offer. I feel you can do more with it. This had the potential to be a nine. This is gonna have to get a 6.5. I would write this a seven. Is this deja vu or whatever? My order today is hash browns. Yes, you heard it correctly, hash browns. It's all I want for breakfast. It just is. Oh my God. Is there more? This is Zeta written all over it. Zeta! Oh my God. Honestly, <laughs> this is my favorite out of everything I have tried today so far. Well, where the fuck is everything else? I need a nutritious breakfast. I want some combination of like veggies that's not just a fucking potato deep fried. This is pure chaos. I don't know if this is the right way to start a day. I'm gonna eat all three at the same time just to get the full hash brown experience. Mm. Mm. They are so good. She's dense. That greasy, oily, satisfying fast food breakfast moment that is just gonna hit the spot when you're hungover, when you're on your way to like the start of a big road trip. This is actually gonna satisfy me. It's like crunchy and potatoey. There's no real protein really. It's tasty, but this is, I would have this at like maybe midnight. This for me is getting a four out of 10. Honestly, when I came into here, I was gonna give it a low score, but now I might give it a semi high score. <sighs> I'm gonna do a Tom and I'm going to give this a 7.75. The other two breakfasts were so sad. I know that there's so much more you can do, that's why I honestly think my breakfast was the best out of everyone's, but this is honestly in the lead for me. I'm really not mad at this at all. I actually love this a lot. I'm actually, unfortunately, gonna give this a nine out of 10. And the winner is by 0.25 points. Oh my gosh. The triple hash brown. <gasps>
<laughs> I don't know how I've done this twice, but also it makes sense. Hash browns are delicious. They're the staple of every meal. Wow. Zira, Zira is locked into something. She knows, she knows the secrets of the world. Thank you, everybody. Love you. I know I'm going to get hate for giving it a 9 out of 10 because it's just hash browns, but honestly, some of the other orders are questionable. This excited me the most. What can I say? It made me the happiest. Hit the subscribe button to see our faces more because you love us. Mwah.